I'm going to use these cherries to make a dessert that's refreshing in the summer and it's also fortifying in the winter. We've just picked the cherries, which are magnificent, and now we're going to cook them with a little bit of Hippocras wine. Making the Hippocras is really quite simple. Uh, if we take a saucepan, Manu, if you don't mind, and here's our wine, a buse, a red wine that's rather full-bodied, and we boil the wine. We even flambe it. That takes a couple of minutes. And we're going to add vanilla split in two. Some peeled sliced ginger. And a stick of cinnamon that you break up, please, Manu, over the saucepan. And we'll add two or three cloves. So now we've added all the ingredients except the honey. And now we'll boil and flambe the wine. There we go. Now, while the wine is being flambéed, we'll add the honey and then bring the mixture to a boil again. And just as it starts to boil, we'll add the cherries. Go ahead, Manu. Add the cherries, please, very gently. And you'll notice we've left the stems on the cherries. Now look at everything we've got in there. It's a drink, but it's not a drink. It's a delicious drink. But with the cherries cooked in it, this wine becomes a delicious drink that also has healing powers. Now we turn off the heat. And we allow it to steep for 15 minutes to 20. So it's already 20 minutes. And Manu, I'm going to ask you to give me a hand here. We'll take the cherries. And there are two things we can do here. Either we put this in the fridge, or we can put it in jars. And I'll show you how we can conserve it in the cellar for the winter. We fill the jar with cherries. We fill it right up to the top. So it's voilà. full, and the cherries smell absolutely locales. delicious. Manu, bon. can Mais you non, close the jar now? And we'll let it cool directly in the cellar, and that way we can Comme leave ça, it for weeks, even for months. Semaines, cherries prepared in Hippocrat wine.